what's going on everybody welcome back to the farm vlog here at hidden heights farm uh so it's been 24 hours since i made the video that i posted uh yesterday and we had that one black spanish baby boy that was born and uh now we have a total of three so i just wanted to uh, make a short little video here to keep you guys updated on the status of the birth of these baby goats uh, so far we have three mamas that's had singles so we have a total of three and i believe it's two girls to one boy i'm not certain i know there's one boy and one girl for sure and i didn't get close enough to the third one to find out for sure because that mama was a little spooked but uh i'm out here sitting with them and it's weird because all three of these mamas had their babies in a different spot and they all had them on the very west side of our property which is the farthest away from our barn and that's where all the other goats stay so i think they just kind of wanted to come out here in the brush and kind of be to themselves but they're doing a great job um they're over here eating a bunch of this yellow hop grass and uh staying out here in the brush i think they feel more protected over here daisy's been going back and forth she did a good job last night uh protecting them she uh, me and rachel come out here multiple times in the middle of the night just to kind of check and uh, daisy was out here and then she's back at the barn with the other goats so she's doing a good job so i'm gonna pan around here and show you these babies so these two mamas are hanging out together and the one on the right i believe is the mama that had the baby yesterday and the one on the left came and had her baby about 20 yards away from that mama and she had hers in the brush as well they're kind of out here in the open this evening eating some uh, dinner but the babies are doing great you see this baby's trying to climb on his mom and here in a minute we'll go over and check on the third baby these babies are just kind of chilling that mama just now laid down as soon as i turned the video on of course uh i'll try to get a little closer i don't want to bother them too much And I believe that is the little girl on the left. So, a lot of people say with these Spanish goats, they'll keep them out here in the brush. They like to have them do their birthing out here in the brush because it just makes them feel more protected. And uh, two or three days goes by and then they finally try to introduce them back into the herd. Uh, I guess they feel nervous about being around the herd with these babies so a lot of people that raise these spanish goats says it takes a, a couple of days sometimes before the uh mamas and the babies join the main herd so we still have uh i think at least eight more mamas for sure that are gonna have babies i believe so we're gonna keep an eye on them i gotta come out here multiple times every day and every night just to make sure there's no uh mamas having problems or anything but man i am uh I'm very surprised with these Spanish goats. So we have raised every breed of goat there is pretty much. Milk goats, dairy goats, meat goats, uh, Nigerians, pygmies, uh, boar goats, Nubian goats. We've raised a lot of them and always had problems with the moms and the babies. And don't let me get too far ahead. We've only had three babies born so far, but every time these babies are born they are dried off and sucking so fast i've never seen goats especially three different ones i've never seen these goats any kind of goat get their babies up and ready so fast this is pretty amazing which i know that happens but but so far these three goats have been outstanding they've mothers they've done a wonderful job with their babies and i hope the rest of our spanish goats follows their commitment on raising their babies as well you can see behind me these things are lively doing real well you've seen them eating this one right here decided to take a nap but let's go check out this third one there's our daisy she decided to uh come see what's going on and uh looks like she's on her way to go check out that third goat i'm gonna step back just a little bit and see what she does that third goat's not too far from these goats I don't know if you can see her right there in those trees right over there her baby is laying in the grass i believe 
so Daisy just kind of hang around. She don't she doesn't get in their faces or anything and bother them too much. These mamas will uh, they'll put a head in Daisy's side if she gets too close. They are very protective of their babies, so that's a good thing. She's kind of getting over there checking out things. Can't really see now. Oh, she just walked by it. All right, let's go see what's going on. All right, guys, there is the third baby. And I can't remember if that's the boy or girl. I couldn't tell for sure because I couldn't get too close. But I hope it, hopefully it's a girl because we do plan on keeping all the girls that are born this year from these Spanish goats. And this mom's doing an excellent job as well. I've been coming out here about every hour and a half and every time I've come out here the first baby was dried off and then the second baby was dried off before I got out here again so within an hour and a half they had them they were up and eating and dried off within an hour and a half which is really amazing for these goats and the reason you see them do that with their legs is because these uh, <laughs> flies are kind of bothering them out here but I'm not going to spray them or anything like that. And there you can see the third baby was just about to start eating. I already got his belly full. So we're going to go over to the barn. I think the other goats are in the barn. We'll go check out the other goats and see if there's any action going on over there. Because they are all within really close range of having babies as well. Wanting to try to show you guys this little baby sucking, but I don't know if he's going to or not. No, he's gonna lay down, take a nap. All right, guys. So I was fixing to go to the barn, but the first mama that had the baby here, she is heading that way kind of already. So I'm gonna sit back and kind of watch her. She's she was way over there by the other goat, which I can't see her because she's behind the tree. And uh, she's kind of walking towards the barn, so we really wish they would go to the barn and uh, at least stay within uh, eyes distance of our house. Just make us feel better. Um, that way we can look out the window with the spotlight and just kind of look out there and make sure there's nothing going on. Which Daisy, we can hear her barking close to the house as well, so if that would happen, that'd be great. Uh, I know they probably don't want to be around the whole herd and that's fine too. But the closer they get, the better. And these two are getting closer. Hopefully the third one will kind of follow. I don't know what she's doing. Alright, let's go to the barn and check out the other pregnant mamas. Alright guys, so this is the boy, the daddy to all these babies. And you can tell he's not worried one bit about the babies. He's just worried about stuffing his face, of course. <laughs> he's reaching up as high as he can, getting all those green leaves. You can hear that uh, Kiko Doe over there. She was one of the bottle babies. She's over there screaming. She's always wanting attention. So let's go get a closer look at some of these does. This mama's dancing around trying to get some leaves. But this guy will clean up trees up five to six foot high all over our property. So it's pretty nice. Alright guys, so we're out here in the barn and this is the mama that we just were sure she was going to have her babies first. Look at the difference in her and these. That, oh man, she's either going to have two big babies or three set of triplets. We don't know yet. We can't wait to find out. But she's about ready to pop. She's ready to go anytime. And I got one over there that's laying down in the corner. Uh, that's that's kind of unusual, so I think she might be in labor. Not gonna bother her too much. She's a little wide too, so she's probably really close. And I've already fed them for the evening. Yeah, you knew what I was talking about you, didn't you? So when we first got these goats, they were just pretty wild and they didn't 
Didn't want to be around people at all. But as you guys have been watching the videos and stuff on the channel, you see we kind of interact with them here and there, and they're getting a lot more used to us. This is Tiny. She was a bottle baby, so that ain't fair. But bottle babies are always kind of attached to humans. But we can kind of mess with them a little bit now and get close to them at least without them freaking out. They still freak out sometimes, but they're getting better. <clears throat> so I don't see much action going on in the barn. So I'll do my rounds tonight. I'll come out about every hour until dark, and then at dark I'll probably come out about every hour and a half to two hours just to make sure there's no babies hung up, you know, in the birthing process or anything like that. And uh, we'll do a head count every time we come out as well. And then if we uh, are missing one on our count, we'll go out and look around to make sure the mom's doing okay. Because uh, let me show you all these trees behind me. It's like it's like Easter when we come out here and look for these goats. They get next to a tree in the brush, and you cannot find them. You have to just go back and forth until you see them at night time sometimes it's a little easier if you got a bright spotlight you can kind of just shine it through there and uh, you'll see the reflection in their eyes so that helps a little bit and then daisy also if we come out here in this pasture on the ranger daisy's usually leading us and if there's a goat or anything over there she'll smell it and she'll take us to it usually so i don't know i i think we should have more babies by the morning i hope uh it's nice weather right now we're supposed to be getting some more storms i think tonight into tomorrow and then there's a chance of rain every day next week <clears throat> which is not good uh it's summertime so i'm not worried about it these are spanish goats they're, they're supposed to be tougher than nails so with that being said is uh say you have a goat that's gonna have babies in the winter time if they're sitting out here and the babies are getting wet and such, uh, they can get hypothermia. Their body temperature, their core temperature can go down so low that it kills them. So it's June 1st today, and uh, I don't think we're going to have a problem with the temperatures getting low. The rain ain't going to hurt them. These suckers are pretty tough, so we'll see. And like I said earlier, uh, we're not going to go get the babies and bring them into the barn or mess with the mamas because a lot of times... Uh, Probably like, we'll say two times out of ten. If you got ten mamas out there at babies, if you bring all ten of them over here and put them in the barn, there's probably two or three of them that's going to reject that baby or you'll have problems. So it's better just to let the mamas kind of keep their own space. Uh, all these babies are all the same colors. You can see the mamas are all solid black. The dad's solid black. The babies are solid black. So if the, all these does start having kids all together, the only thing they have to go off of is their scent. So the way that works is the babies eat the colostrum, eat the milk from their mom, and once that passes through their digestive tract, the mamas lick them and clean them every day, and they, they can tell if a little baby comes up to her and she's got a baby, she'll sniff it. If it doesn't smell like her, she knows, and she'll kind of shoo it off. So back to what I was saying is if you got 10 mamas out here that has babies, all these babies look the same. Sometimes it can cause confusion. And it's just better to let them do their own thing. And it's good to have the, the mamas staggered, you know, a day here, a day there, having babies. That way you don't have that problem. So, all right, guys, uh, I don't see much action happening right now. I'll try to keep you guys updated in another video. But uh, for now, I'm going to uh, end this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to see how many babies we end up with. We'll see you next time, guys.